Right, so today, in this video, I'm going to show you my custom homemade uh, nickel cadmium and metal, nickel metal hydro battery charger. Um, for these kind of uh, RC car batteries. So what it is, um, it's in here. Uh, sorry, the tape. Um, I had to do a repair a little while ago, and uh, I couldn't be bothered to put it back together with like some clear stuff or some some glue or anything. Or using like some proper fasteners or something. I just taped around it. So really, there's there's three main components here. No, no, actually, there's two main components two main active components and the rest are all just passive and switching and connectors right so, so um, parts list is uh, is uh, two um, these are actually banana plugs yeah um, there's a uh, it's a Tamiya connector you, you can use if you get a different type of um, if you get a different type of uh, connector or anything but I've got those ones very basic, uh, just just two pin the handle a fair bit of current, it's fine. Uh, get a switch, got a nice big one, just feels really nice um, to use. Uh, there's an LED voltmeter, uh, it really only has to do between like 6 volts and 10 volts, because uh, that's the maximum that it's going to be doing. Um, I think this one does like 2.5 to 30 volts, I think. And you might not be able to see down in there, but it's a 12 volt to 9 volt step down converter. Now that thing, instead of some other ones, uh, I'll just do I'll do a comparison actually between uh, this charger and like a um, like a factory built charger. Okay, so uh, this charger here, all it is, is just a couple of big power resistors and a timer. Now that's not really going to do that much as far as actually regulating the voltage, because this thing, if you, if your battery's already charged, and then you turn the knob to do another charge, it's just going to overcharge it. And then the battery just overheats, and then it just does weird stuff. And sometimes it expands, and sometimes it can just shorten the life cycle of the battery. Um, yeah, so this thing, it just takes 12 volt in through here. So what I've got uh, here, well, you can you can uh, click clip alligator clips onto there, or you can put banana plugs in. What I've got here is a. Uh, because I have a um, Curry Technologies uh, EZIP electric bicycle. This is one of the battery packs for it, and so the 12 volts at the charging port is always available. So I made up this little adapter that plugs into there, and I've got a uh, 24 volt to 12 volt step down converter in there. So we've got a cable coming out. It's just just 12 volts there. So what you do is um, to get this. So you just plug it in there. So there you get your power supply. So now, if I'm not using my boat, or even if I'm using my boat, say if I want to go down to like a park or something, take my remote control cars with me, go and play with them. If I go on my bike. I've got this big battery pack, it's a uh, 24 volt, 10 amp hour battery pack, and I've got two of those. Um, yes, so there's that connector there. Now, if we flip the switch on the side, that reads the voltage that it's putting out. So it's putting out 8.965 volts, roughly. Um, so then if we just, uh, if we switch that off, and then we hook up our battery, that's reading actual battery volts, you flip that on, 
that basically gives you a charge indication. So when that route reaches about 8.9 volts, it's almost fully charged. Um, so yeah, that, that's how that runs. Um, and it just works really well. So you, you can hook up, say, like a car battery charger or something to those two, um, just whatever. Or even just straight off, just a car battery. Or um, any 12 volt source, this thing will run off. Um, yeah. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.